Hi, and welcome to Food for Thought Thursday. Well, there's a new shopper's guide to pesticides out, and there are some big changes on it. Um, three pieces of produce have been dropped from this list, meaning that they're being sprayed with less chemicals, and that would be your lettuce, pears, and carrots. Unfortunately, we're using more chemicals now on spinach, potatoes, and blueberries. You heard it. Blueberries are now the number four most heavily contaminated pieces of uh, produce. Now I know many people are saving money, cutting back at the grocery store, and I can understand that. That's why this guide is so critical, because you can see what are the cleanest pieces of produce, so you don't have to purchase them organically, you can save money, and you can see what the dirtiest uh, pieces of produce are, the dirty dozen, so you can purchase those organic or avoid them altogether. Now, this is interesting. The Environmental Working Group who puts this list together every year, their research shows that if you consume just five pieces of fruits or vegetables from the dirty dozen, the most heavily contaminated, you will be exposed to over 10 pesticides. Now, on the flip side, if you consume five pieces of produce from the clean 15, the least contaminated, you will, you will get less exposure, exposure to less than two pesticides. So that's pretty dramatic. And just on a last note, just to, just to really bring this out and make it very clear and, and why it's so important to avoid these chemicals, the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, now claims and knows that 60% of herbicides, okay, that's when it's used to kill plants, 90% of fungicides used to kill fungus, and 30% of insecticides used to kill pests are known to cause cancer. So I hope you will download this guide. It's free. You can put it in your wallet and you can or in your purse and you can take it with you when you go shopping and refer to it. You can get this on my website under resources. You can also download it on foodnews.org. And um, I do hope you've enjoyed this Food for Thought Thursday. I hope you'll download it and start shopping from the Clean 15. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'll talk to you next Thursday.